Sally Sattel, who is a psychiatrist and a lecturer at the Yale School of Medicine, just put out a really interesting article talking about how academic psychology has ignored the fact that authoritarianism exists on the left wing of the political spectrum for about 80 years, and how new research is showing that it is possible to document authoritarianism on the left wing. This kind of thinking has a long history in academia. In 1950, a book called The Authoritarian Personality laid out what would become the standard for measuring authoritarianism with the principle called right-wing authoritarianism, uh, and it's a measure using a series of questions to determine someone's proclivity to turn towards authoritarian principles. The only problem is that this question set is geared to only get people who are on the right wing of the political spectrum, and it created the false impression that there are no people on the left wing who are authoritarians. And this continued in the academic world until the current day. This was exemplified in the 1990s when psychologist Bob Altemeyer famously called left-wing authoritarianism the Loch Ness Monster of Psychology, basically implying that it's something that people claim to see, but something that in all reality doesn't exist. And what's really dangerous about this is that you can tell with common sense that this is incorrect. If you think about a political compass test, you have your left-wing authoritarianism, your right-wing authoritarianism, your left-wing libertarianism, your right-wing libertarianism. And this is, of course, the test that everyone takes to determine where they fit in on the uh, political scale. So people obviously know, just kind of inherently, that there is obviously such thing as authoritarianism on the left wing. And yet, academia has largely ignored this. And why is that? Because nobody wants to be an authoritarian. We've learned through history that that's a terrible thing to be. And since most of our academic institutions lean left, and linked below is a 2014 review of the psycho a 2014 review of the psychological literature that shows that uh, academia since 1950 has gotten farther and farther left in the field of psychology. And the result is that there are a lot of professionals who are inclined to skew the results such that they never make their own side look bad. And this is really dangerous. This is dangerous because there are definitely authoritarians on the left wing. And to help remedy this, Thomas H. Costello, who is a researcher who had his work published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, recently came out with a paper basically coming up with a new methodology of measuring authoritarianism that takes into account personality traits that people on the left exhibit. Here's some of his methodology. Costello developed what eventually became a list of 39 statements capturing sentiments such as, we need to replace the established order by any means necessary, and... I should have the right to not be exposed to offensive views. Subjects were asked to score the statements on a scale of 1 to 7. They showed a trait that the researchers described as anti-hierarchical aggression by agreeing strongly that if I could remake society, I would put people who currently have the most privilege at the bottom. By agreeing with statements such as getting rid of inequality is, the most, is more important than protecting the so-called right to free speech, they showed an attitude called top-down censorship, and they showed what the research team called anti-conventionalism by endorsing statements such as, I cannot imagine myself becoming friends with a political conservative. Now, this research is really important because it basically does what academic psychology has failed to do for the last 80 years, and shows that there is authoritarianism that exists with individuals who lean to the left. However, what Costello showed is that the authoritarian personality supersedes political ideology, meaning that you could tell that somebody leans authoritarian without knowing whether they lean left or right on political issues. It's so much of your personality trait, uh, as is being generous, as is being conscientious, as is being an aggressive person. It has a lot less to do with whether you think Joe Biden or Donald Trump should be in the White House. But this is a really good thing to be remedying because our academic institutions are responsible for taking the vastly complex and difficult to navigate world that we find ourselves in and distilling all of the information in the world into usable truths such that society 
can progress itself through further understanding the world that we live in. And if a field of study is so politically controlled that they can no longer accurately assess the truth, we won't be able to move forward as a society. And this is kind of Costello's conclusion. He says, an ideological monoculture within the discipline has damaged our collective understanding of political psychology and by extension of American politics. This has led 80 years of people going through the American university systems to believe because they were told so by professors who I, they were right to assume have spent a lot more time with the, the research than they have, that authoritarianism only exists on the right. And this is what's allowed us to ignore the buildup of authoritarianism in the left. We've seen this with violence on the streets, with uh, Black Lives Matter. We've seen this with Antifa taking over portions of cities. Meanwhile, the uh, journalist class, the academic class who go to Yale, go to Harvard, largely ignore this because they've been told by people who they respect that it is not a problem. And that's why this research is important, and that's why it's important to recognize the fact that there are large portions of our institutions, whether that be our journalistic institutions, whether that be our academic institutions, that are fundamentally corrupt and that need to have people like Costello come in and say, look, we need to object, we need to assess the truth objectively if we are to move forward. The truth is the only thing that's going to get us out of the political mess that we're in right now. And I applaud Costello for recognizing that. Please read the article linked down below if you're interested in this subject. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel.